I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about mastering your intramuscular progesterone shots. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist with over 15 years experience helping people build their families. And today we're going to talk about intramuscular progesterone shots. Intramuscular progesterone shots can be an important part of fertility treatment, but it can be intimidating for many and it can be uncomfortable for some. And I want you to learn a little bit more about them and get some tips and tricks on how to make the shots better for you. There can be lots of shots and medications along your fertility journey. There are a lot of medications that are given subcutaneously, and that just means little tiny needle that goes right underneath the skin. Those are often um, gonadotropins like follicle stimulating hormone, a brand can be Gonal F or Folistem and maybe Lupron. You know, there's lots of different types of medications along the fertility journey. This video is for intramuscular shots and the most common intramuscular shot, if someone's gonna take it would be progesterone. And these shots can be intimidating because the needle is pretty big. It has to go pretty deep to get into the muscle. The progesterone itself is usually suspended in some oil. Um, um, that can kind of get lumpy in the area. People can have aches and soreness and it can be really intimidating. Um, when I did IVF and I did my embryo transfers, I was really nervous about these shots as well. And I want you to learn today little tips and tricks on how to optimize these shots so that they are the best for you. So it's okay to be nervous, but let's get started. First of all, where do we do these shots? Typically they're done in the backside because that's a great way to reach muscle. And um, this is how my nurses taught me how to figure out where it is. This is the backside. <laughs> I know it looks funny, but that's okay. All right. So you know what these are. If you draw a line right across like that, kind of at the top of the little <laughs> crack here, <laughs> um, and then you go straight down the middle like this, straight down the middle like this, it's like you're making a cross and you want to put the injection up here, like kind of in this upper outer quadrant. And um, sometimes people just pick like one little area, but if you really do this well and go over this with your clinic, go over this with your team, because there's actually, you can kind of get a good area and moving the shots around and going kind of back and forth can be really helpful to decrease soreness so that you're not doing it in the exact same spot every single time. So double, triple check with your team, follow all directions that your team tells you on how to give yourself these shots um, safely. Um, remember use to alcohol to prep the area to decrease the chance of infection. Um, ask your team to draw circles on your backside um, to help you figure it out. When you get home, um, take pictures of those circles so you can kind of remember where, where it is. Um, when the circles start to fade, maybe draw over again. Hopefully that can be helpful knowing exactly where to do the shots because that's important. After you take these shots day after day after day, you can start to feel soreness. You can start to feel kind of lumps where the oil sometimes is kind of sitting um, in the same spot. And so ways to decrease the soreness and kind of decrease the occurrence of these lumps and bumps and kind of achiness. Um, there's a couple of great tips and tricks. Number one, make sure that the muscle is not tense when you do the injection. And one way to do that is to shift your weight. So if you are receiving an injection in your right side, put your weight into your left leg and vice versa so that the muscle is relaxed and it allows the medication to kind of dissipate. Number two, heat the area. So warming up the area beforehand will allow the medication to disseminate better. Not ice, not cold. Cold can help numb the area with subcutaneous injections. And I talk about that in another video, but for intramuscular shots, you wanna think about heat. Ways you can heat up, you can use a heating pad, you can warm up a, wa a washcloth with hot water and kind of put that in the area. You can use hand warmers, you know, think about hand warmers that you put in your gloves in the winter. You can put that um, in your pants, kind of on top of your underwear. You don't want to burn your skin, but like in that area for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, it can really, really help 
the, the area. And so think about warmth, not ice. You can numb the area. So there's numbing ointment, there's numbing cream. You know, a lot of people don't need that for intramuscular shots, but if you're having soreness in your skin, that can be helpful. There are actually patches that you can get as a prescription that um, not only numb the area, but they also heat up the area and you put them on about 30 minutes before you're expected to take your injection. After the shot, massage, really massage the area to try to dissipate the oil and the medication. Um, walk around, so moving, kind of using that muscle a little bit will help the medication distribute and it will help avoid um, the lumping or the collection of the oil. Let me recap. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the injection in different places each time. Um, sometimes people will go back and forth from side to side. If one side is getting pretty sore, you might wanna do it in the same side a couple of times, but really think about the area and try to not do the injection in the exact same spot every single day, kind of move it around a little bit. Make sure that the muscle is not tense when you are injecting it, so kind of shift your weight. Uh, think about heating the area and warmth, not ice. And then after the injection, massage, walk around a little bit, kind of move to help the medication disseminate. So it's normal to have a little bit of lumping, a little bit of achiness, but things to look out for are significant pain, redness that doesn't go away. And especially if redness is starting to spread heat, heat in the area, these are signs of infection. So redness that doesn't go away and starting to spread um, heat in the area and, um, and significant pain or even discharge from the area. These are things to talk to your team about because there are cases where sometimes people can get an infection in the area and we wanna figure that out soon, okay? So it is okay to be nervous about these shots. A lot of people are, talk to your team, get support, try these tips. Um, I have another video on subcutaneous injections. And so watch that if you have different types of shots in your treatment cycle, I really want this to be helpful. Don't forget to celebrate yourself when you are doing this. It, if you are nervous about this, but you are still doing the treatment and you're getting it done, you are being brave and you should celebrate yourself. Get yourself little treats, celebrate, buy yourself something. Um, get a, I talked about this in my other video, get a box of chocolate and each time you have a shot, have just a little fancy piece of chocolate, just something to celebrate you and all the hard work that you're doing. You're doing great. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like this video, comment with questions that you have, other tips that you want to share with this community, and be sure and subscribe so you get notifications when my next video is available. Stick around for more education.